Yo. Ha ha. Bill Nicholson. YouTube, your boy Milton Nevison coming back with another quick video. And today we got the AE1 All Star, at least the future, I think is what they labeled it. Um, this was the shoe that I really wanted but couldn't get because, again, it was something else that was sold out when it first initially came out. Uh, Anthony Edwards wore this in the NBA All Star. I think it was a skills challenge, if I'm not mistaken. So I feel like sometimes Adidas is looking out for your boy. And you know what? I greatly appreciate that. And for everybody that's been supporting the channel, I am actually giving away. A free, I want to say it's a booby ticket for an AMC theater. So I'll leave more details in the description of this video. Uh, it was something basically that was awarded to me, and I want to give at least the ticket to somebody. If you want to ch check out the latest and greatest movie, um, you'll have until, I think, December to redeem the actual ticket. But again, I'll leave uh, information there. I want to give back to you guys because a lot of you guys have been, um, you know, tuning into the channel and, and kind of recognizing the hard work that I put in. So I do greatly appreciate that for those that actually, you know, do care. So, you know, when, well, I guess when this channel hits 9,000, you'll see another giveaway. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully I can get awarded to somebody, you know, who, who's been tuning it in. Um, and, you know, as we continue with this channel, man, listen, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, whatever the case is, the more people give, you know, kind of that impact to this channel, I want to do the same and kind of return it back to the community. So again, I greatly appreciate it. So with that said and done, man, let's see what we got in the box. We have the AE1 NBA All-Star, man. Listen, I wanted this just because of its unique color. It's a little bit different from what we've seen, at least on the Milton Nifflin's channel for the AE1 mid-series. Um, I showed you the AE1 lows. You can see kind of like the differences, even from the hill, what the difference are, a little exposed light boost versus you know everything's kind of sealed up so with that said and done man let's do that pull out drawer because man i wanted to see this and actually before we do that pull out drawer if you see these three lines just know that it's kind of i feel as though i'm not sure adidas made it official but i feel like it's in representation of the outsole of the actual ae1 shoe and of course before i pull this thing all the way out we do have the ant logo that sits right on the top of the box so Without that done, man, let's just get this bad boy opened up. Let me just see here. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let me just put this here. If I grab all this. Now, this is one of those ones where I know for a fact it didn't come with extra laces. And typically what I see, man, this looks good. Typically what I see with the AE1, at least the mids, when they come out, not even mids, maybe the low two. When they come out with these shoes, they very rarely come out with laces, extra laces that have the 3M paneling that sits on the toe box. Typically, it'll have like this uh, fabric design. And actually, I can show you real quick what I'm talking about. You're either going to get extra laces or you're going to get like this fabric design on the actual toe box. You won't get that 3M paneling, which I'll show a video of what this looks like um right here so you won't get them both simultaneously is what i'm trying to say you'll get either one or the other is what i saw with the the, the trend is but in this case this one has three of paneling um and it kind of has this the whole generator supportive wing on both sides kind of basically like tpu but it has this one it has it's a little bit different because it has like an iridescent two-tone effect where and in one light it does have that eggplant feel <laughs> It, it looks like a foam posit, you know, eggplant, the whole sneaker, but it has that colorway, but then it kind of transitioned to like a lime green, which you see on the hill counter for the Adidas logo. And of course, this is like a, it's not carbon fiber. It's like a, like, I want to say it's like a panel, but you know, you see the lime green on here, but on the NBA All-Star this year, it was Anthony Edwards first, at least in the skills challenge. So he, what he did, he did a lace swap, even though it didn't, this doesn't come with extra laces. Um, and actually, I'm kind of doing that too. I might put the lime green laces on here to kind of balance the whole color color effect that you see on the ant logo towards the tongue, as well as the Adidas logo on the heel. And of course, it does have that aggressive herringbone traction that you see on the bottom with that exposed light strike boost technology. Um, and this textile upper has always been the signature. I want to say materials for the AE1 in general. I didn't really see them move away. I mean, even though they could, this is something that they could do if they decide to continue on with the AE1 series. I know there's a rumor that the AE2 could be coming out. We've been seeing 
some leaks, but I don't think that anything is official until Adidas makes it official. But they have so many things that they can do with this A1 in terms of mix, matches, colorways, uh, different two-tone effects. I mean, this is kind of like, this is, I, I don't know, care. I don't care what people say. I, for me, just for me, I love this. I love this. You'll see in the sunlight. I'll show you right here how I think in the sunlight you'll see it more do that traditional two-tone. And it's almost like having a car, right, like a little Cadillac car or something like that, and you paint it, it's two-tone, you're driving down. That's, that's the feel that you have with this shoe. Again, he wore this in the NBA All-Star game. Now, looking at this, I can say that this, I know some people had mixed reactions when it came to the mids um, and when it came to the low because people were saying that your foot can slide in on the actual low a little bit better than this. I'm going to say that to say this. You technically can pull the tongue out, the tongue, and you'll see a video right here. It has two straps attached to the actual shoe. Um, and that's kind of helping with the whole lockdown effect. Uh, when, when people were saying, like, when you hit the courts, this is more of like an indoor shoe than it is a outdoor shoe. But you'll feel that lockdown effect, I think, more in the mid versus the actual low. It depends on how you lace everything up. All in all, I am very pleased with this because I think they labeled this, I want to say it was metallic burgundy, right? And, of course, you got that lime green to counter. But this... Man, it also has the breathability vents, which I also show right here. So you can see that lighting does pass through on both sides of the actual shoe. Uh, but man, this is like, I mean, between this, Georgia Red Clays, the, the Velocity Blue, and of course I got the A1 Mids from the Ascent Pack. I am kind of set. And I actually, it might be going after another A1. I don't know just yet, but I don't know, man. Comment below. Let me know. Did you even get any one of the A1 series, whether it be the low or the mid. And if you did, which shoe colorway do you find to be the best? I think I feel like a lot of people did like that McDonald's All-Star version that came out, but it was kind of a limited quantity. I'm hoping at some point that Adidas may consider a restock. I highly doubt it. But for now, man, I'm stocking up on AE1s because they not only just feel good, right? Of course, you got that the boost that's that's kind of encapsulating the midsole, but it kind of creates like a balance effect. You know, people will use this as a basketball shoe, but I can see people using it as a lifestyle shoe. And the colorway, I don't have to worry about the colorway because your boy always has into the AM gear that matches anything that Anthony Edwards comes out with. So styling is never a pro. It's not kind of it's never a problem for me, I should say. Uh, but your boy Melvin said, "Man, let's do that on feet." I got to put these on feet, man, because this is this is special to me. It's been a special week for me for various reasons and stuff that I couldn't get before. Your boy is able to get it now. So again, shout out to Adidas for you know hooking up your boy with these because at least I can say I got this in the collection and I look forward to having hopefully more on the Milt Nificent channel. Your boy Milt Nificent, Anthony Edwards, the AE1 All Star, the future on the Milt Nificent channel. Let's do that on feet. You guys, stay blessed.